Yo, what is going on guys? We're back with more Hogwarts Lexi. Jumping straight from the last one. Managed to beat Rookwood. Got a special wand. And a bunch of other stuff. Like we were going strong with our main missions. And now we're gonna, instead of bringing the wand back to the keepers, we're gonna do a few side, well not really side. They're kind of the main missions to the to the characters. So we're gonna meet Sebastian in the Undercroft. See what he's gonna cry about today. And then we're gonna go meet Poppy in the Forbidden Forest. Two of those things. So let's see how the story unfolds. If it's all in one video, we'll do the main quest as well. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, good. Let's go see what uh, Mr. Sebastian is going to cry about. What's up, loser? What's the argument over here now? Devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Oh, boy. Sebastian. Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Yeah, damn, this man just murdered. Turn me in. Yeah, you just killed someone. Sebastian, did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, you always oh, say. Man. I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. This guy's tripping. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Now I'll talk Thank with you. Him. You're a good friend, man, truly. This man crazy as hell. Huh? You'd be, I would turn him into ask you What so happens from here? I'm glad we met. Yeah, crazy ass. Oh, Sebastian. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Oh, ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. <sighs> I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. Mm, uh, 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 to do we now. do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. That but we true. also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health. Now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions... He should, he should. ...we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Damn, this shit's going down. Le lies ahead. We must face it together. Basically, I'll be having to choose oh, no. between Ominous and Sebastian. I mean, obviously, I like Ominous more. I mean, Sebastian's a little douche. Jesus Christ. Nexus, it's in the stars. Damn, this one's going to be a little longer. I'm sure Poppy's always got us uh, running around for errands around here. Let's go see what she got to say. Hopefully, it's not too long. Maybe we can jump straight into the next one. Wee! Look at my broom's on fire, though. And, uh, oh, you're here already, yeah? Oh, with the horse? And you say they made it after you placed the moonstone. Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas and yet only run so deep. Hmm, smart, smart words, old, old man. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did. And I am glad to see that you are both yeah, safe. some weird-ass lighting right here. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. Ah, yes. You knew the poachers would try and kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend, 
but I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the moon calves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Oh, Please, damn. come on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. How would the poachers know? You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. Ooh. I believe now that you are the strangers, the poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events, the cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. Oh, fancy, fancy. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. Mm -hmm. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. True enough, my guy. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. Now you can carry us on your back. We cannot afford to lose the snidgets once again. Okay. How far will it be? Poppy, I guess you'll see me there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, is it even on the map? Oh, are you saying this? Yeah, oh my god, whatever. Okay, well. I thought we were flying to the place, but I guess not. Let's go to the map chamber. I guess it'll, it'll give us in pieces. And here and I, here I thought. Yeah. Is it not gonna give me the missions? So I don't have to... Because if I beat the game, I beat the game, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there, see? Quest is here. I knew it. Let's go back. It was in here the whole time. A fake to see that. I got stuck in a tree. I had to reload. Jesus Christ. I thought I was like, I have to reload far as hell, but I didn't. So we chilled, bruh. What's up, Doran? I's here. Greetings. What's the plan, good sir? I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? Yes. We do. Good. It's as, as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There's only one way to find out. Are there things? And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. True. Yeah, easy. Okay, I guess I have to make all those things light up. That did it. What does that do? Doran, a doorway. What the hell does that do? We all know what lies beyond that passage. And now I have no idea. No such a guess. At least for a time. You're not coming in with us. Ah, damn. If the snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. Sounds good. Anyway, I have to Google that. That was taking me way too goddamn long and that was pretty dumb. So, it's done. Thank God. Let's just go do the normal beating everyone's ass. That's the only thing I'm good at. Jesus Christ. That's way too embarrassingly long. Ooh, nice little cool place you got here. Hmm, okay. 
Yeah. Oh. Oh. A lot of fun stuff. Someone's house, I guess, back in the old olden days. So many books. You haven't seen my grand study. Okay, we want to be all cool. I guess your grand's cool. Okay, calm down. Look at the the this place must have been built to protect them. They have nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The poacher camps always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Mm -hmm. No, is that a lot of snidgets and beetles they killed? Huh. Oh, a big ass screen here. Almost looks like a... Oh, is that snidgets over there? It looks like. Ooh. You know, collecting gold like a crazy man. Yeah, it does look like there's snidgets here. See the little nests for them right here? Nests over here as well. Looks like there were there was around. Leviosa, now Leviosa. Leviosa. now Leviosa. Look at that poor poor. Yeah, they had a lot of snidget nests. Jeez. I guess someone didn't survive long. Maybe the snidgets killed them. The only thing I can think of, really. Ooh, stuffed toy dragon. That's cool. Sorry, Poppy. Okay, look. Are those snidgets up there? Looks like. Are those just regular birds. It's hard to tell these days. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Bombarda. Bombarda. Hmm. Is it this way? Yeah. Hmm. That's right. Open it up. Money, money, one dollar. Oh my god. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. So it's our secret. First of all, you gotta pay me money to tell you this bit of info. Like, who do you think you are? I got it. Here I am finding all this, and you're just gonna be sharing. Oh, you, this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how to get through? How to get through, eh? <laughs> It's your first time, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's a fire. Makes sense. More little nests. Anything up here? Damn, they, they like the snidgets, huh? Oh, uh, that's the wrong. I placed it the wrong one. My bad. That's a- that's supposed to be a frozen one. My bad. Look at that. Look at that skill. Ingenuity. Damn. All we- all I know is we gotta blame whoever lived here, cause they... clearly died. And then did not pass on the knowledge of the snidgets. You know, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Of course. How clever. What was clever? Are those snidgets or are those crows? Little puppy sweeting. Forgot how to cover your tracks. What was that? Not dog, that's for certain. No. Where are them? Watch this, watch this. How about, um... Killed all of them. Too good. Oh, it's my boy Doran. Ready your warrants. The fight. Whoop. 
So who summoned the cap just definitely wasn't me. Oh shit, okay, your brother. God damn. What? Get out of here, good sir. Sometimes it is what it is. <laughs> Whoop. Damn. Yeah. Sorry, guy. Whoop. Whoop. I think that was all of them. Are the two of you unharmed? I had hoped to return before it was too late. Yeah, it's chills, my guy. Fine, but if you hadn't got here when you did, I let them hear, Thorin. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I don't hear the other guy speaking. Is he glitched? They are the ones I saw, Elik. Well, the divine have not yet come to pass. Yes. I locked the doors. Is there anything else I can steal? Hmm. Doesn't look like. Okay, let's go. Ooh. The moon. Oh, and the sun. Nice. Can I take one home? Just nudge it. Damn. It'd be nice if they put some protection in place. Mm hmm, mm hmm. We chilling though, we chilling. There, there they are. Where, where are the cute little babies? Oh, it's just three eggs, jeez. Ah, damn. Now, all that remains is to break the charm. You want us to? Why are you breaking the charm? Is it like extra protected? Yeah, you're looking creepy as hell. I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. Should I Avada Kedavra it, or what's up? I thought you know how to break charms. Sorry, God, if they break the eggs, I think this whole series would be uh, over. Is that good? Oh, they hatch it. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, they round as hell, bro. No, that's cute. They're lovely. But what happens now? They can't care for themselves, and surely once word gets out of their reappearance... <sighs> no harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. No, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. You did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. Sounds good. Damn, his back is red. Yo, we saved some little babies, boy. Let's go. Cute as hell. She looked a little too creepy. I thought she was going to change her mind and just kill him. You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. Sounds good. Let me just. All right, Doran. I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more oh, time yeah. with the snidgets. Around as hell. Shit. A bird in the hand. Easy. As long as we don't burn this whole place down, we should be good. Were they breeding them here? I wonder. Revelio. For like the games, I guess they should be. The only thing that makes sense. Okay. Now, probably her quest is done.
I'll go see if she says anything. No, nothing. You got nothing to say either? Yeah, damn rude. Really? That's it? I have to walk back? I can't even teleport? Oh. Right there. That's annoying. Revelio. Why I gotta be a peasant, bro? Easy dubs. I think our last quest to do is. I mean, we're not hearing anything uh, from Sebastian or nothing. Thanks. Thank you for watching. We'll carry with the rest of it next time. What's up, cats?